Hi, welcome back to my channel. We are reviewing my daughter's 529 plan that will eventually get transferred over to an able account um, because she has a disability, but waiting to see how she develops. She's only currently three years old. So the account balance for this week is $9,247.23. Really happy that the overall balance is showing 9,000. It's been in the eights for a really, really long time because of how horrible the markets are performing right now. So happy to see that nine number and hopefully it stays, fingers crossed, in the nines and keep going up. I'm sure that's what everyone else in the world is hoping for right now. Let's just take a deeper dive into it. So my year-to-day contributions for 2022 is $5,277.75. In terms of contributions for the week, I was able to contribute on July 5th, $63.55, and then on July 8th, another $63.55, so for a total of $127 for the week. And the account is 80% invested in growth stock index portfolio and 20% in the aggressive growth portfolio. Because again, she's at a really young age. I'm going with the most aggressive portfolio because she has our most, imp our most precious, <laughs> um, you know, sort of investment, and that is time. She has time for this account to grow, grow, grow. But the highlight that really, really made me so happy this week was on this account because just overall, as we all know, the markets is not good, and it can be very disappointing for every day, every week. You look at your balance and it's down or if it's up it's because of the contributions that you made not because of the market but i looked at this account and i realized that oh my goodness i've actually with my own money contributed ten thousand twenty eight dollars and sixty seven cents so i am officially at the 10k contribution mark which is absolutely amazing now you see again overall i'm down 781 dollars and 44 cents but it's just awesome that i've contributed ten thousand dollars i just can't wait for the day where there's an extra hundred extra zero on this <laughs> principal balance amount of like a hundred thousand twenty eight dollars and sixty seven cents right again long way to go but this is such a huge milestone because I'm trying to, as quickly as I can, get this account or get my principal contribution to this account to at least at a minimum $50,000. So whew, I feel encouraged that I'm 10K towards that and I just have another $40,000 to get to that minimum balance. But I try not to future think a lot because then it can become very discouraging in terms of like where I am but yes this was my highlight for the week and I'm really happy to end on such a positive note and I'll talk to you all next week let me know what's going on uh, with any type of special needs uh, financial planning that you're you're doing for your kid or children talk to you soon bye